This is the way I set up Reaper to work with Melodyne Studio. In Melodyne I opened Melody Manager and I set the following pathway. This may not be critical, but it worked for me. Then you must close Melodyne. I have a single voice that I copied into channel 2. Select FX and choose Melodyne Bridge. This will automatically open Melodyne Studio. In the Bridge box, select Transfer. Return to Reaper and select the UI button. The source button is set at track 1 and emulated in Melodyne Bridge. Reaper does not copy track 1 to Melodyne, it copies any track that is playing in Reaper to track 1 in Melodyne. More about this later. Play the track you want transferred. OK, that's enough. If you transferred the complete song, it may take a little while for the transfer to complete before you can adjust Melodyne Bridge. I want to make three tracks in Melodyne, so I must set the UI to 3. In Melodyne, position your composition and make two copies of the original. To play back all three tracks in Melodyne, you must select Play Arrangement and open the Transport bar. You can then alter the arrangement if you wish. You can also control Melodyne and play the Melodyne arrangement with any other instruments open in Reaper. At this point, nothing has been changed per select the track to return the composition to, and then click Item and apply track FX to items as new take. When completed, I always press save. Reaper shows the three tracks as continuous to the end of the song, but the three voices only play for the duration of the transferred material. To capture the screen and audio, I had to use the laptop sound card, which does not work with Melodyne for more than five seconds without crashing. Normally, I don't use it at all. The UCA202 analog to USB converter is fantastic and very cheap. This is my setup for anyone who's interested.